What's going on everyone? Geek with Social Skills here. Doing another daily walk through the forest. It is a beautiful day. If you look up, blue skies. It's a gorgeous day. I mean, look at that. Sun's out, birds are chirping. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I think I'm gonna head back now that I've walked a few miles. Work on nabunetwork.com, do a CPM follow-up video, and let you know what's coming up. So sit back and relax. Let's jump right into it. In my last NABU computer video posted on March 18th, 2023, I talked about the nabunetwork.com internet adapter software getting CPM support, and I showed our custom coded bootloader and a hacked version of CPM running. I've got a link in my description below for that video. However, I'm gonna be showing that again here in just a moment. In that video, I also mentioned that there was an open source CPM being worked on, and once that was a little more flushed out, we would add that into our nabunetwork.com internet adapter software and release it. My original video was recorded on March 16th, 2023, as seen by the date and time shown while running the NABU software cycles from 1984 that Leo preserved from his time with NABU back in the 1980s. As mentioned, I made my video public on March 18th, 2023. However, between March 16th and March 18th, after I already released my video, I had been working directly with Gavin, one of the people behind the open source CPM I was talking about and that we're gonna be using. It's called Ishker. Once again, it's open source, it's on GitHub. I will have a link in my description to that so you can check it out. Gavin and I worked tirelessly for hours, basically until the sun was coming up to get it sorted out. We got it working with nabunetwork.com internet software. At the time of recording this video, it's now March 21st, 2023. So it only took us about four to five days to get a proper non-hacked CPM working. It's still a work in progress. However, it's good enough for a few things now so it will be in the upcoming release, which will be version 1.31. All right, now I'm going to show you the original CPM and our custom bootloader that we used in my last video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select it from the old software, which is 1.22. Don't need to restart the server or anything. I'm just going to hit the reset button there's our custom bootloader, and now it's in the hacked CPM. Okay, so that's what we showed last week. MSX stuff, and um, I'll load something, MSX ROM, uh, Galaga.im2. You will see it load that. Um, I used RallyX last week, but Galaga is one of my favorite games, so I'm showing you that. I'm not going to play it. I'm just loading it. So there's Galaga. I'm going to go ahead and reset the machine. It will once again boot back into our custom bootloader and the hacked CPM. So watch that. Keep watching. There's our custom bootloader. And there is the hacked CPM, has the CPM 2.2 copyright 1979 digital research. Visit nabunetwork.com today. Got the prompt A colon zero stuff, right? Cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is bring up our version 1.31 of the software and show you what we're gonna be releasing to the public. So stand by. All right, I've got the NABU Network Cycle V2 loaded up. You can see it is Tuesday, March 21st, 1518. So that is 318 p.m. I am now going to select the Ishker CPM from our dropdown right there. Do not need to start or stop the server. That's one of the things we've always had with our software. Hit the reset button. You're going to see it load. Check this out. And there it is, NABU PC CPM BIOS Ishker Alpha. 
CPM 2.2, copyright 1979 Digital Research. Visit nabunetwork.com today. And you'll notice the prompt is a little different. Instead of it being A colon zero, it is A zero. Got kind of a K-Pro CPM vibe to it. You can change the prompts. Uh, that's what's cool about open source CPM. We can do that. Uh, if you type dir, you will see on disk A, that's the CPM stuff. Disk A, user zero is CPM. If we switch to user one, we've got the MSX stuff like before. I will load up Galaga again. Galaga IM2. And you'll see Galaga loading right now. Wait for it. And there's Galaga. Cool. All right. So I'm going to, I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to reset back to get back to CPM. So you'll see that load up again. And it's like turning on your NABU for the first time. You know, it's got to do its little keyboard check and all that stuff. That's standard NABU stuff. But watch how quick it loads. You'll see the please wait and then boom. And you might have seen, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but the color changed from like the NABU blue to kind of the MSX blue. We're, we're toying around with the color scheme. But there you go. You can see it again. NABU PC CPM BIOS Ishker Alpha CPM 2.2. Copyright 1979 Digital Research. Visit nabunetwork.com network today. Blah, blah, blah. I think I'd be able to say it by now. It's been up since December 5th. 2022. But anyway, all right. So once again, there are, there's the CPM. User two, user one was MSX. User two was the Infocom. Did I show that? I don't even remember. So we're going to do it anyways, just to make sure. Doing this on the fly. Yeah. So there's, there's the Infocom stuff. So we're going to user zero. We're going to switch to disc B and this is something special. Okay. Watch this. Disk B, user zero, we got a dir. In here, we have got PTX Player, which has some music that has been converted, some chiptune type stuff to play on the NABU computer. This I'm actually gonna run, because I want you to see and hear this. Um, hopefully it'll pick it up on the camera. So we're gonna, you go PTX Play, and I'm gonna pick RoboCop, RoboCop. Dot PT3, press go. You hear that? I don't think I've ever heard anything like that on the NABU with any of the software we have available right now. That sounds really, really cool. So yeah, so if you want to exit out of, out of a song, you hit space. And this was uh, originally written by SV Bulba, but Gavin, the same Gavin that's working on the Ishker CPM, ported this to run on the NABU, as you can see on the screen. So Durgan, and I'm going to try something else that I have not listened to yet. Let's go with, okay, PTX Play. We're going to go with Mr. Sid dot pt3 we're gonna hear this for the first time together at least i haven't heard it maybe you have i haven't so let's hit go that sounds really good this is amazing kind of like an 8-bit dance party. You know what? 8-bit dance party. 8-bit dance party. We're having fun. Woo! Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and stop that. And uh, now I'm going to answer some questions that people have been asking about source code, when it's going to be released, etc. So stand by. Let me get set up to do that. All right, I am going to answer some questions that people have had. And I've got Goonies the MSX port running on the NABU right now just to have something on the screen while I talk. People want to know when nabunetwork.com internet 
adapter software is going to be released because we've been talking about releasing the source code, which we are going to do, including the headless option we showed in the previous video. Um, and it's going to be on GitHub. We got a GitHub already set up. We're going to tighten up a couple more things, get our ducks in a row, make sure everything is, you know, commented and proper accreditation wherever we might need it, like for the Ishker and that kind of stuff. We're going to put it up there, put it out into the wild so everybody can play with it, use it, make customizations. Um, so yeah, um, there's that. Um, when will the current version that I showed you today be released on nabonetwork.com version 1.31? Well, it's ready to go. Um, I need to make some updates to the manual because the current public version is version 1.06 and that doesn't cover things like the headless option or CPM because that hasn't existed for us officially until now. So it's gonna take me a day or two to put that together, but it's ready to go. So just keep an eye on nabunetwork.com um, and I'll even put a pinned uh, comment on this video with the link once it's ready to go. Um, and one more thing about the, uh, the CPM, the Ishker. It is, again, a work in progress. What we're gonna release with our software will work and do the MSX stuff, the Infocom stuff, the PTX player stuff. However, if there's some CPM specific stuff that we're not aware of yet that you might wanna do and it's not working and it's broken, uh, we're gonna to need to know that so we can account for that. But again, it's, it's, it's on GitHub, link in the description. If you know, once you're playing with ours and if you see something or need something, whatever, let us know and, and we're gonna get that put in there. Um, so that's about it. Uh, with that, I'm gonna do my old school uh, Patreon uh, thanks hold up my paper here. Shout out to my Patreons. These are the folks that support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. I appreciate your support and I thank you, my viewers, for watching this, hopefully from beginning to end. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you in the next video.